Hello, today we are going to look at Hamamatsu sensor. This is an X-ray sensor. Basically, it's one of the highest resolution, I think, uh, consumer grade X-ray sensors from, from Hamamatsu. It's uh, 2400 at 2400 pixels. So it's very large. And uh, I think it's 12 centimeters uh, at 12 centimeters imaging area. So it's very large sensor. Uh, for, from Foxitron MX20 um, machine. So today we're going to look uh, inside of the sensor and learn a few things. So let's get started. Uh, this is a power supply for this sensor and uh, this sensor is a uh, likes to take a very clean power supply uh, so it's isolated so there are two, uh, two uh, Isolated DC DC converters that take uh, power. It's fi 5 volts, uh, 2.5 amps, so it's around 10 watts at, uh, at uh, uh, when it's working. So there are two uh, isolated, uh, I think, 1 amp uh, converters, or maybe 2 amps. And um, after it's one for digital and one for analog uh, uh, power, uh, these are uh, uh, linear re regulators, and there are some fuses and uh, overvolted protection. And that's it. This side is um, up, uh, uh, galvanically isolated from this side, so uh, there is no uh, funny business between uh, electronics uh, driver and electronics and the sensor. And um, I, sh I don't know if I'm going to, but I can change a, a these old uh, LDOs to the newer from linear technologies, so I can get much better noise performance, or maybe I. Uh, integrate these inside the sensor, but for now I will keep it as it is. So this is a um, nothing very not not too exciting, just a plain board with a few uh, DC DC converters. Uh, interesting thing is inside the sensor. So let's get started to disassemble the sensor. So this is how it looks inside. Um, this is a shielding, but it's not it's not area shielding. It's more shielding from the radiation from the X-ray uh, because the sensor is capable up to 35 uh, kilo electron volts. Uh, it's not that uh, penetrating. So uh, simple steel. Uh, it's like uh, 1.5 millimeter thick. I think it's, uh, it's more than enough uh, to shield the electronics. And of course, sensor isn't shielded, and, and connector is not shielded because there is no need. And we have air fingers in here. We have power connection, Lima connection from trigger, we have ground point in USB. Uh, this is sensor, and this is uh, some auxiliary connections. I have no idea what it does because there is no schematic available. So I'm not going to touch this side because it's too expensive, and I don't want to damage it in any way. Uh, but of course, I will take the shielding and see how I see what is inside. Okay, so let, let's look into details. Um, here we have a six free uh, uh, free chips. These are uh, sixteen channels uh, analog switches. So um, and here we have a. Uh, quad uh, operational amplifiers. Uh, in this side, we have very interesting. These are potentiometers, basically digital control potentiometers. And in, in this side, we have again some real to real op amps. Um, I don't see any EDC, I think it's on the other side, but I'm not going to take it because it's too risky. This unit is uh, worth a lot, of, lot, lot for me. Um, in this side we have just decoupling capacitors and uh, nothing more uh, and connector. Um, here we can see an Altera Cyclone uh, 1 um, FPGA with a can, I think it can be for oscillator or for something like that. I think this is um, this digital part is shielded, I mean uh, galvanically isolated, it looks like an optocoupler or for data. Or something like that. Uh, of course, if you have many, many channels, maybe there are more on the bottom, but I can't. I can't tell. We have here. We have a power connector. Um, this is uh, five volts uh, for digital electronics and uh, five volts for analog electronics. 
we have some uh, dip uh, switches, no, not dip switches, but um, uh, switches for uh, inverting, uh, reading uh, directions and so on, so flipping and so on. These are unlabeled, uh, so I don't know what we do. Uh, in my controller, at least communication with a computer is done with a Renaissance part. This is a 20 MHz uh, microcontroller. RAM is 32, uh, not 13. Uh, yeah, 32 uh, kilobytes. So it's 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 very small compared to my arms. <laughs> we are uh, at least 10, 10 times faster. But it does the job. So we have Altera uh, for communication uh, with, the uh, with the sensor electronics, and we have U USB 2.0 for communication with them. Uh, Hamamatsu, yeah, the I don't, I don't recall how it's named uh, application the the, the uh, cam or something like that uh, it's available from the website and not much shit so this is a um, I think it's newer design than uh, from Mike um, teardown uh, but it's of course it's a lot like it's four times larger sensor so maybe maybe it's it can be same age but uh, uh, just a different design and uh, H shows up at the tantalum capacitors these are quite rare uh, we don't see them every day but they are very low ESR and, and stuff like that so yeah this is a this is a switches op amps uh, potentiometer is digital uh, some analog stuff connector Isolator uh, for data or, or something like that. I don't think that we would pass um, like analog signal, but you never know. And this huge sensor. Okay, so thank you for watching and. Uh, I will, uh, when I get X-ray sensor, I will start to make videos with uh, CT reconstruction and so on. I have like 5-phase uh, motor and I will spin the target and get uh, back projection. Uh, I will retrieve 3D information, 3D information from back projection. That's very simple and easy to do. So thank you for watching and have a good time.